Hello, and welcome back to What's Bubbling at Zim. I am Dr. Abstract, and in this bubbling, we're happy to present, uh, are you ready? Dum, dum, dum. Zim NFT. Yay! Let's do a refresh on this page, zimjazz.com. There it animates in Zim NFT. This is an interactive work right here. And it explains more, if we click the arrow, it explains more about what NFTs are and how we're positioning Zim to be able to create NFTs and specifically interactive NFTs. So this is an interactive NFT on Hicket Nunk. Isn't this exciting? And it's available for, for collection here as well by a Dr. Abstract. It's Bloob, you may recognize it from before. And it didn't take much at all to take uh, an existing Zim app and turn it into an NFT. So we describe how to do that here. We have also described how to do that already in a Zim Explore that takes you through this whole process. So check out Zim Explore if you're interested in making interactive NFTs. We have an invite for generative art makers and interactive artists here. This is uh, to go beyond processing. This is a medium article. And there we're encouraging artists to take a look at Zim to create interactive NFTs in a couple different ways. One, with our embedded components. So we have components that fit right in with your art. And that's what we like to do, treat the components as part of the art. And a second way is that we can let you create the tools to make these art forms. Now you can do a little bit of that with processing, but Zim's got a whole bunch of conveniences, components, and controls uh, that are specifically for that, to, to make tools, to make art. And that can be exciting as well, to make environments in which other people can make art. And uh, that is that article. There's also a guide to creating interactive NFTs as well on Medium. Here are the steps to, to make an NFT from a Zim file. And we would like to allow you, bop, 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 there's another one that we've done um, called Autobahn Whisper. Oh, yes, that's sold a couple already. So these are collectible. You should go have a look. And uh, we talk about how, oh, how to um, sell interactive NFTs as well. There is a Zim NFT that we're not exactly selling. I think each NFT has to have some sort of minor price on it, or you have to at least have a wallet to be able to um, transfer it. And so we have, or we will be minting 100 of these. I guess we did mint 100 of them. We'll be putting those for sale for a very small amount, and we'll help you through the process of picking up one of those. Uh, we're talking a dollar or two, you know, that type of deal. So we're going to help you with that process and even sponsor you that money so that you can get a Zim NFT and eventually trade that if you want at some point. Hopefully this will be worth uh, value. As far as I know, we're the only uh, framework, JavaScript framework that has been put on the blockchain uh, as an NFT. So that's exciting. And we hope that uh, our creators in Zim will also build NFTs and help with some of the, um, uh, some of the, the promoting of it as well. So uh, here's how you can go ahead and sell your NFT when you're ready. We're part of the Gadget Minters. If you're interested in joining us, join us in Slack and Discord or talk to us in Slack and Discord. And perhaps uh, we can be part of the same art collective to make interactive gadgets as NFTs. So we look forward to doing that uh, right through into the future. We've made a couple already, like I said. Uh, this one here and the one at the top. So we did do an explore on that whole process. I'm just sort of introducing it to you here as a sort of a fun thing with the launch of Zim NFT. Um, Zim still works as always. We'll still be updating it as always. We've done a bubbling video on Crystal. So Zim Crystal is right here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, there's the information on NFT again. Zim Crystal is down here in the CDN, and it's a way that we can now call Zim with one, one script call, and it calls multiple scripts depending on which crystal you use. So we did a bubbling on that. That's exciting. Um, we did a bubbling on, let's see if I can pull it up here. Uh, let's bring 
this file up here on this editable text. So that's editable text right here on the canvas. So we did a bubbling on that. That's a new feature of Zim. Yay. Uh, that's exciting. I'd like to take you now through some of the changes in the site, some of the updated uh, updates in the site. So that's zimjs.com. This is version NFT, which is after Zimcat, which is after Zim10, after Zim Neo, et cetera, all the way back to Zim1. So if you want more information about that, <laughs> you hit the about, the about page, scroll on down, or indeed uh, hit the archives here. And here's Zimcat that is available for you. That, uh, as a matter of fact, if you click there, hey, it opens up the cat. And then you can see all of the, the things that we had in back in the Zimcat time, including the neat certificate uh, setting. So that's not all lost. It's on the Zim, uh, zimjs.com slash cat.html. And indeed, there are the features of Zimcat. Um, along with that, there's features of Zim10 there, etc. In the news, we tell news of NFT. Here's Crystal. We did some work in the blob as well. And here's the text input example. And then underneath that is Zimcat. And there's the feature page for Zim10, which looks like this. So uh, all this stuff is not lost. It's available for you. But right now, we're on Zim NFT. The rest of the main page hasn't really changed here or down here in the gold bars. We still have all of the examples um, along here that uh, are great for what Zim can do. And um, let's see, what else has changed? The examples themselves have changed a little bit. We've opened up an NFT link here. We have a featured link, collections, and uh, code pen and magical. So the NFTs, take a look. Here are the NFTs so far, and that will link to the NFTs on Hicketnunk, and there will be more as we go. We've added about 40 new features, some of them in here to collection. This is Zim Story, which is now the feature video on YouTube. So have a look there. Um, we also added to this one, let's see, where is it? Oh, Zim Heroes right there. You may not have seen Zim Heroes. That those are sort of Zim recreations of some of our heroes' works. So have a look at that. And you can find some information on that too on the Twitter feed, Zim, Zim Learn on Twitter. Uh, we, we featured each of those. So if you find them, give them a heart and maybe even a share. We've added 40 code pen examples or so. So here are most of the new examples are right here at the start. Although we did mix a couple in depending on how we wanted to present the features. But anyway, there's the most of the new features up here at the top. Uh, okay, and uh, maybe even added a few to Magical, the custom ease tool and the ease examples and the poly and the line we brought down, oh, and the keyboard layouts. So these were uh, featured at one point, but now we've dropped them down into Magical to make way for the new featured ones up here at the top. So there's the path editing. May as well poke on that. Uh, take a look at that. Wow. So now we can split paths into two or more and still be able to edit uh, the, the parts that we've split. Here we've joined, we've appended two, two squiggles together. We scaled this and made it uh, smaller and um, uh, tacked it on to the end of another squiggle. And in this one, we're reversing the points. So after reversing the points, we're now animating and it's going in the reverse direction. And here we've made a blob from uh, two squiggles. So we, or was it a single squiggle? I can't remember. But anyway, it may have been, we can join two squiggles together and make them into a blob with make blob. You can also do a make squiggle from a blob as well. Um, but the split points is pretty cool to provide multiple paths and the append points. So split points, you've got append points, um, and there's one for append prepend. So prepend is uh, add it to the beginning. So you can also you can append onto the end or prepend, very similar to this one. Cool. So that's the the in, some information on path editing, uh, further path editing. 
And then the text input we already talked about. So let us pop on over to what's left, uh, the updates. Let's just have a look at the updates. So we go into the docs section. The docs have been slightly adjusted as well um, in the information up here to add information about Crystal. Uh, but here is the updates right here. <clears throat> so we talked about the NFTs. And as mentioned, there's a whole Explore video on that. So check that out as well as some Medium articles. Here's Zim Crystal. We did a bubbling on that. And there's the one call. Uh, we don't need a class of plane. I'm not sure where that came from. Um, and then let's see what else. Squiggle and blob edits we just talked about. Scale 2. So Scale 2 has been adjusted. We were doing a fair bit of work in Zim Kids. As a matter of fact, why don't we just pop on out and see what Zim Kids looks like. So here's Zim Kids. It's a little bit big. Uh, most of this is the same except for Slate where we've added scenes like that. So here's a beach for instance. Uh, we haven't quite brought the new version of Zim NFT into Zim. This is what we used to have to do to fill. Um, it doesn't quite look filled because it, it's still in a fit mode. But uh, let me show you what that what I mean by that. If we just take away this part right here. So if we do a scale two by default, there's what there's what that looks like. Um, so the picture has been scaled to the stage. By default scaled to the stage and yet it doesn't fill the stage it fits within the stage so this used to be the default now if you zim nft if you don't provide any other information it assumes you want to fill and what that allows us to do is say to the kids oh, you don't have to do type colon uh, fill there so if we do that and save it now you see how that fills the whole stage like so so we were having to tell the kids to do that, and we decided to change the default on that. So that's what this update is about right here. There's a little bit more information on that. As soon as you provide percentages, the default becomes fit. So if you add percentages, the defaults fit. If you want to fit to the stage at 100%, 100%, uh, then you would do that. Provide two 100s, and then it would fit. I think usually you want to fill the stage as opposed to fit the stage. However, if you provide percentages, usually then you're wanting to fit rather than to fill, uh, certainly. Okay, um, some general updates. We added account decimals to, to code. We, oh, one thing to look out, there is a percent property, not parameter, to percentage. Uh, because the percent property is actually used by animate. Animate adds a percent. It's a percent complete um, property to all, all objects it's animating. So we ran into a conflict there. So we changed the percent property, not the percent parameter, to percentage. It's kind of rare that you would use the percent property anyway. Um, and so anyway, we just thought we would do that. Added a blend mode difference, etc., to style. Oh, so style now has a blend mode that's available. And a few other things. Obviously, these, these things you can kind of read about and, and come on here. You should, if, if you're using Zim, you should always come into the updates after a version has happened and check for any breaks or improvements. There were 77 patches to ZimCat 4. That was the last version of Zim. 77 patches. And all of those, if, if we were moving more quickly through, um, through versions, uh, what's happened in general is Zim has slowed down in its updates, despite there being 77 updates there. Uh, Zim has slowed down. So we're not doing sub-subversions. We're only doing subversions which means we're on 0, 0 of NFT. The next time we change Zim, it will be 0, 1 of NFT to 0, 2 of NFT, etc. We're not doing 0, 1.01, 0, 1.02, 0, 1 etc. And those were uh, the, the types of updates that would often be found in patches. Instead, we're just carefully patching the latest version because there, in theory, is, is less of them to, to do. 
Okay, so anyway, we're on zero, zero of NFT, which is how we begin our version numbers at zero, zero. And we did that for cat as well. So there was a cat zero, zero, cat zero, one, cat zero, two, three, and four, and then we've jumped to Zim NFT. Helper modules got updated to 2.5. That was a minor update there. We did a lot of improvements to the documents as well. We've added, like if you type in visible now in the docs to do a search, it will find viz. If you type in blend mode, it will find bleh. Uh, registration or registration point, it will find reg. So we've made the searching of the docs a little bit easier with, um, with those things. Uh, we also switched how we can search on certain um, certain ob items, and I can't let's see, I can't, it's, I can't remember. But uh, if you typed in circle and it found hit test circle first, you know that would be annoying. You wanted it to find circle first, so we made some adjustments there to try and um, make that a little bit easier. And there's some other information that you can see there as well. Some updates to the uh, site and Zim Kids. Like I said, we did a fair bit there. We changed the name. We had a, a feature called, um, oh, I don't know, what was it called? Customize or something? Customize, I think. And this is at the top of the docs. And if you type in your code into that or paste your code into Customize, it would give you the docs for all the things in that code. Uh, we've now called that Zim Doctor, and so here it is. You would type in some code here, and then it would end up giving you some results. I don't think we have any code, but it gives you uh, the URLs of all the items there. So you can get a URL to give somebody with all the items. You can also get a series of lists. We, we didn't type in any code there, so we're not seeing the list. But anyway, that's handy for us. We use that a lot as we're making code pen. We put Put which um, with the docs for all the items used in the code pen. We put that into every single code pen, both in the code and in the comments. And uh, we use doctor for that. So uh, if you're teaching, doctor can be handy for you. And then we've got the various updates there. So it's not a major, major update in terms of added features. I mean, we had the text input, which is very exciting. We have the whole NFT angle, which is why we've shifted to call the Zim NFT. So this version of Zim is stored on the interplanetary file system. And we are providing an NFT for this. And that's all on Hicket Nunk at Tezos and the Tezos blockchain. So uh, that's exciting, isn't it neat? Um, that's what most of the excitement is in there. And also crystals is uh, pretty cool as well to have only one uh, call to Zim up top. For instance, here is only the one call to Zim up top. So that simplifies it. Yay, so that's a Zim update on Zim NFT. If you're interested in Zim, uh, if you're still here, please join us on zimjs.com slash slack, zimjs.com slash discord, and hang out with us. We would love to see you there. Those links are also down here in the footer. There's discord, and here's slack. Of course, you're welcome to poke on any of the other social medias. Follow us on Twitter. Help us out at Patreon. Uh, give us stars on discord. Follow us and, uh, and fork things on, on GitHub. Oh, that's not GitHub. That is CodePen on CodePen. And of course, YouTube. You're probably watching this on YouTube right now. Join Medium and take a look at our articles there. WordPress is our old blog. We'll, we'll try and update that shortly. And uh, then we usually cross post to Facebook as well. All right. Cheers. I'm Dr. Abstract. Have a great day or night. All the best from uh, What's Bubbling at Zim. <laughs> Ciao.